Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we've been showcasing this plugin recently. It's a Divi Image Hover Effect plugin, and it's got some absolutely incredible image to text on hover effects. And at the moment, they've got it on sale for fifteen dollars, reducing fifty bucks. So it represents a huge saving and it's a great deal like I say you get about 250 of these things I'll put the link below the video if anybody wants to try it out but uh, some of these if you followed my videos before can be achieved I've built them before with pure CSS but Divi's come such a long way that now you can do a lot of these things with the inbuilt features of Divi so today we're going to do a text to image on hover we got some text there it's going to spin out and reveal an image and this is pretty easy to do and we're just using the regular features of the Divi theme here to do this so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder and as we've not got a lot of content I've made this a row of four boxes because it's only one word in each so let's get rid of this one and we'll start again from scratch so I've got a section in that section I've got a row that has four columns let's add a text module to the fourth column Divi comes as standard with all these modules apart from the image hover one which is that plugin I was just showing you you also get another dozen or so if you've got WooCommerce installed for selling products right so I'm just going to insert a text module I'm going to put in whatever I want to say here which I think is just coming I'm going to make this a heading so it stands out. Just going to grab that, change that from a paragraph to a heading two, perhaps. Okay, if you want the actual module itself to link to anywhere, you put your link in here. Um, if it's on the same site, your own website in the same window, if you're navigating to somewhere off the site, you want to do it in a new tab. All right background wise you're not going to see very much we've all still got our image there in the column so let's get rid of that first let's just save what we've got here and I'm going to get rid of that image we'll have to put one back in there in a moment so if we go into our row here's our four columns the image is in our fourth column there And there it is it's just a simple image background let's get rid of it and we'll put it back in there go into the column put whatever image you want to appear in your column there I'll use that same one again or for fun let's use a different one let's use that one okay so we've got our little image behind our thing there but you can't see much of it because there's not much content to our text box so now we've got our image in our column we can go back to our little text box there just go in there hit the cog to go in let's make it the size that we want it which is probably going to be the size of the rest of these here so if we go to design go down to sizing I'm going to give it a minimum height about the size that I want it something like that I think it's 230 I used before I'll make it the same as the others there so let's just take this down fine-tune it with the little arrows there great so we've got our image can't really see that our content there at all if we go back to our content now that we've got the height let's go in there and let's change this to our flag or the flag and it's there but can't really see it too much let's go into our design and style it the way we want it and put it where we want it on the site so it's a heading text it's h2 you can either go up to it and hit the little paintbrush it'll take you straight to h2 or just go to h2 I'm going to change the font so it's more in line with what we've got here and Divi comes with a ridiculous amount of fonts it really has a huge amount and if you just hover over them it'll show you what the font looks like 
I've got one that I've used here just now called Anton. It's great. I want to make it bold. And I'm going to make it purple. There we can actually see it a little bit better there. Let's take it up in size. Whatever it is we want it. Something like that. I want to capitalize it. I'll give it a little bit of text shadow, make it stand out a little bit more. Remember, it's going to be on the page on its own, like our little one right here. Okay, so I want it to be centered. So let's put it in the middle. Now I just need to push it down to where I want it. So let's give it a bit of spacing on top of, say, 100. If we go down, we're still on the design tab, and go down to spacing. Let's try a hundred, maybe too much. She gets to delete that. I want to make it padding, not margin, because that'll make the box bigger. One hundred. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. Let's just adjust it backing up here with my little arrows. Get it kind of where we want it. That's about right, I think. May need to be a little bit bigger I'm not sure we can we can check in a moment okay so we've got our text in place now we don't want to see that image initially so what we need to do is go to our content and give it a white background so it covers that image I mean background we've got color gradient image or video I just want a color I'm gonna make it white which should make that image disappear which is in the column behind it there we go fantastic yeah, that needs to be a little bit bigger to be in line with this. So let's do that. Just go to the little paintbrush. It'll take us straight to it. And I'm just going to take it up. I think that looks about right. Great. Okay, so we've got our title right there. And what we want to do, we want to make this sort of twist and disappear and reveal a picture on hover. So to do that, still in the design tab, let's go down to our filters. And before I actually, before I do the filters, let's go to transform just below it. And we're going to have it rotated. So I'm going to go to rotate the third one here. And let's have a look. Now this is common to all Divi modules. If you go over where it says in the dark legending, and these icons appear. If you've got an arrow, it'll give you the option to do two states. A desktop state, which is when your mouse is not on it, and a hover state, which is when your mouse is on it. So on the normal desktop state, I want it to be right where it is. When they hover on it, I want it to spin out and reveal the picture behind. So for hover, I'm going to rotate it. So it's going to rotate backwards, backwards, backwards. I don't know, to about 180 is fine, I guess. And you can fine tune just, just below here. Now remember, that's on the hover state. When we're not hovering on it, it's going to be like that. But also, after it's twisted like that, we want it to be transparent so you can just see the image. We don't want to be able to see this at all. So now let's go to our filters and we'll go down to opacity or see throughness. Do the same thing, hover over it, dark legend hit the arrow to bring up the hover and desktop states okay when we're hovering on it we don't want to see it at all so we want the opacity down to zero because we just want to see the image and when we're not hovering over it it wants to be fully visible or a hundred percent so we can leave that just like it is now the time it takes to spin and disappear defaults 300 milliseconds that's too quick for me if we go to advanced down to transitions there's the duration and there's the default 300 milliseconds I'm gonna put mine up to just over a second just makes it a little more dramatic obviously you put yours how you want yours second and a half probably too long and I'm gonna change it to ease in and ease out if you play with these speed curves you'll see the difference ease in sort of goes and then slows and then when you take your mouse off it'll go and slow again which is a nice little effect. So I think if everything's in place here, we should have it finished now. So let's save our changes. So 
save the page changes and exit the visual builder all right let's roll over it and see what happens there we go that's a bit slower than the others when I roll over it, it's taking a second and a half to rotate and disappear revealing our image there and like I say you can have a, a link on this background image here to take you wherever you want to take your visitors then when you take your mouse off it's going to take a second and a half to roll back in the others, others over here I think are doing a second so you can just do it whatever works for you but that's a nice little effect to have on your site if people are rolling down your site with their mouse they roll over something like that it's going to take their eyeballs straight to it so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please ring the bell give it a thumbs up comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again this has been Jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day.